<laughs> the the blog is something that I'm working on as far as encompassing um, fitness and um, just kind of a little bit of everything, dating, fitness, just life in general and um, how I see certain things. So and with the backed up a little bit of research, of course, but um, still working on it. So okay. still to come. OK, OK, so that's coming. Okay. Yeah. Wait, you know, hey, hey, Mario, you know, they're, they're now sh get ready for this. You know, even when we do it before or after sports. Now, she has three few topics or a couple of topics you'd like to address oh that's right yeah, you can forget where about was that, that well because yeah no, where now, was that now, i can tell you the three topics but i'm gonna let her introduce the topic she wants to impress upon you my brother <laughs> because you know why you run this i already did the crazy <laughs> questions about okay go okay well three topics is uh hot yoga i guess it's hot yoga and black people <laughs> and the say that again <laughs> hot yoga and black people what is that <laughs> What the hell is hot yoga? Hot yoga. It's like 30 ways to pull a muscle to me. Hot yoga <laughs> is an amazing thing. And I oh, get... excuse me. It's, a, <laughs> I'm it's an amazing exercise. And, you know, most of the time when I go to the classes, I'm either the only black person there or I'm one of the few. And I think um, there's a lot of misconceptions with yoga. So hot yoga is, or I prefer hot yoga, but yoga um, by itself is something that everybody should incorporate at least once a week. All right, so you you could be our ambassador to yoga. Yes, I guess our you black be that. yoga ambassador. <laughs> our um, wonderful, but what? But still, now the hot yoga. The hot yoga is what like, makes it hot, as opposed to the regular old yoga. <laughs> the hot yoga is almost like you're you're doing yoga in uh, like a steam room. Essentially, it's really, really hot. I think I can't remember how many so degrees. You pass out a lot. <laughs> well, if, if you're not, you know, the healthiest of health, I we would get start to watch with the regular you sweat. yoga. You get and yeah. Drips all down. What do you wear? It clears the pores. That's the best part. Most of the people don't really wear much. It's usually a bra top and some shorts. So I gotta wear a bra top. <laughs> Most of the guys just wear like um, just uh, shorts. So they and they just don't wear dripping, shorts. steaming, dripping and you just sweat. all just sodium just yes. Okay, well that sounds like that. Was, it, 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 while we're in the steam, we like meditating, <laughs> trying not to look at your sweat, B. Uh, uh, like, Mar, don't look at the sweat. It does sweats. the body good. It's a good thing to do. I know my pores right now. They close. <laughs> I tell them, every, open. Can you just open a little bit? Just so okay. So hot yoga. Okay, that's hot one. Yoga. I went. You know what, Vic? We, but you, it's the video. You can't even get it. You got to shoot through the window or something. I know. You have to. How do you visualize she a hot yoga? She can come out yoga? and tell us. It's hot. No. <laughs> we in there doing yoga. It's really hot. I'll be right back. You I want some of that. You have to. So crazy. Anything that you do, girl. Okay, that's hot. I do it like that. That's one. Okay, I want to see that. The next one is uh, just facts about Canada. Because since I've moved back to the States, I get a lot of random questions that... I think, uh, <laughs> I think, given the fact we're just over the border, <laughs> that uh, Americans should know. So, oh, I like what? Just yeah, I will tell, tell, tell us. Tell us a couple. That. Well, one, there are black people in Canada. I told you. <laughs> Not I just told me and my mother. <laughs> they didn't believe it. Um, Toronto has those big ass hot dogs on all the corners. and eat a lot of donuts. I don't do hot dogs. <laughs> But they do up there. They do have, they do have hot dogs. On all the corners. Vic, they up there. I thought New York. I'm walking down the street. Here they are on the corners just cooking hot dogs. Yeah, like the bending. The yeah, bending, man. The and I'm trying not. I mean, no big old. And I say big. They're the you know, same like the. Oh, no, they're not. Those are big Mexican. old, big old giant hot dogs. I was like, and my baby's like, don't you eat them hot dogs? That's right. She's watching out and for I'm you, like, man. I was like, well, how you going to not miss? So it's crazy. See, she's out in the health and That's fitness. She's not trying to sell it, but you know they have them hot dogs. No. And they do donuts up there a lot. They have the Tim Hortons, which is almost on every corner, and they're probably going to be invading Man, the they US. love donuts. Yeah, I told you I know Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell them other stuff about Canada. See, I told you some shit that you didn't know. You said what word? What is stuff. Oh, well, okay. Tell us some other stuff about Canada. Come uh, on. Let's These see, what good. else did I have here? I told them about Nelson um, Golden. <laughs> They were buying up all the beer. You know that? Or the Canadians we... trying to take over the damn beer. Well, the legal Canadian age is to drink is 19. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. How how, how about the drive? Uh, drive, I think, is 16. Okay. 15, 16. All you right. get your, your G. We have like a G1 thing. You get it when you're 15. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't you, you can't drink, but you can give consent. Yeah. <laughs> At least the first time, I'll be on a clear mind. 
<laughs> okay. We don't live in igloos. That's, what, no, that's another thing. What is the... Okay. Oh, yeah, that's she right. People she, think... She, no, I, I was about to sit there, Mark, because I know she has a list of questions that are crazy. And I want to ask her, what is the craziest question she's ever had addressed to her? Yeah, yeah. I think the... The craziest one. I wouldn't say the crazy, but the the... The repetitive question I always get is because I always tell people I'm an international st- student or I'm a, a legal alien, and they're like, "Oh, you know, I just thought Canada was part of the U.S." So I get that a lot, and that's kind of like, like even I I had a doctor's appointment the other day, and the doctor <laughs> thought that you know I didn't have to deal with the whole immigration stuff. So that that's the most I guess the most annoying question because Girl. it's just. Oh God! Fifty percent of the American public cannot identify the Pacific Ocean on a globe. That's the studies we read. This is not a bright country right now. Oh! But they can tell you who's on Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. But they can't tell you. You know, like I said, they go. You told them. They really think that. You know, they like what? Twenty five percent of the American public think that the president's Muslim. Oh wow! Yeah. Wow, that's. I did that, hear about that. Yeah. So that goes to show you again, they're not bright folks. Yeah. So but I, I don't think don't it's not necessarily not bright. I just don't think they. I I, I don't know. If it's, yeah, I don't think, it's, <laughs> I don't know if they they don't care or I don't know what it is. It's just you know they watch a lot of TV. They watch yeah yeah. I mean I picked up a lot of American culture through watching TV, but just little things like I mean you know not all Canadians live in igloos. That's kind of basic. No, like, <laughs> like we don't live in igloos. We drive cars. It it's is warm a, up there. Yeah. How about the French Canadians? Uh, the French Canadians are a little bit different. That's right. A little bit different. And Toronto's so different from Vancouver just yep. in weather. Tell them about the shopping thing, though. About uh, The underground shopping? Yes. So in Toronto, we have, like, our main downtown is, like, Eaton Centre, which has, like, King Street and some other stuff. And during, well, I think Montreal also has it, too. The underground, you, you can shop underground. All the trains are mostly There's underground. There's so much snow. <laughs> it's so cold. It's cold, have, not as much you snow. You go underground, Vic, you can walk for blocks. Yeah. <laughs> you okay. can go shopping, get wow. lunch. Um, most of the high-rise buildings that you work in connect to the underground, so you don't have to see outside until you're ready to go home. And if you take the train, you could take the train right to your residence. So. Wow. All right, so what about, okay, before we do the dating thing, too, what other, what other crazy questions? Because, you know, I'm sure... Um, and by, uh, by the way, are these coming from guys that are trying to hit on you? By the way, well, I get a little, I get, I get a little bit of, I get a little bit of both. Like, I, I mean, the the the, tur- the turn off for me is if you're trying to hit on me and then you act like you know what you're talking about. That's just you're already. Oh, you get X'd that all out. the time. Yeah, right? you're already like you know. They don't know Canada. Yeah, they don't know Canada. <laughs> they don't know where it is, yeah. and then they take to try to pretend like they know where it is, and I'm just like, you know, that's it's not working. Mm. So. um... I can't think of any other Let me strange ask you this. stuff. You never played hockey. You didn't say hockey. See, I, 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 I hit a point, see? Yeah. Because that's their game up yeah, there. That right. is their game. Hockey is very big. I never played hockey. I did skate a lot, but I never, okay. played, I never played hockey. Hockey wasn't... I mean, even though I was raised in Toronto, doesn't mean I like the cold weather. That's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you came to the right place. Though. Yeah. That's There's right. no better weather in the world, I don't think. I, and I'm... I haven't been to South Africa. They say that the weather there is, you know, like Southern California. But yeah. to me, this is some of the best weather. Yeah, I mean, it only rains world. and it rains for like a couple minutes okay. sometimes. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm good. I, I, the only thing I don't, um, it's kind of scary is when it starts raining, everybody kind of starts driving crazy. Crazy. So that's kind of like, it's just rain. Just slow down a little that's bit. That's right, but you're right. Keep about going. That. So, wow. It's okay. Different. Well, now, tell us about the dating. The dating is the dating. That's a blog. Are you giving advice or what are you? What is what is your involvement with the whole dating? The whole dating thing is, I guess, my experiences and uh-huh. then what, what I've what I've <laughs> yes. what I've seen from both ends, both men and women, what they've said about dating in LA, and then my experience as of being somebody like I used to, I visited California every like two or three times a year before I moved here. So I would go on dates and stuff like that. And then I've moved here. So that was an experience in itself. So I just find that um, dating in L.A. is really different. It might be the same to dating in Miami, I guess. But Well, tell me. Get, now, when you say really, I mean, and we know it must be really different from all those places that you've been. <laughs> well, everybody. We different from everything. <laughs> well, a lot of people in L.A. are in the entertainment business. So and then with, with the entertainment business, if you look at magazines or television, everybody looks perfect. 
And I think a lot of people are looking for Mr. or Mrs. Perfect when there is no Mr. or Mrs. Perfect. So then people are holding out until they're like, you know, however old and, you know, they're not necessarily getting what they want when they could have had somebody there with them five or ten years ago. Well, that shows you the influence of Hollywood. One thing that's about L.A. is you got to separate out all the bullshit, we say, because it is a fair... One of my friends who moved here from Louisiana said, everybody in L.A. has a business card. I felt bad. Everybody asked me for a card. He said, people, I said, man, in L.A., if you don't have a job, you got a business card. (laughs) (laughs) Just now, I'm Bob. The card said, Bob. (laughs) And Bob's number and a Facebook address right here. I'm Bob. Oh, goodness. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's different. It's very different. Phony, huh? (laughs) um, Yeah, it is phony because being a female, you know, all these guys try to pick you up and they try to pick you up on... uh, from a different angle so like you know they're a photographer and they say they want to take pictures but they really just want to do you and i prefer you just to say this is what i really want versus trying to do a business angle way of things because then oh, i could yeah. just tell you no you're wasting your time and there's ten thousand other girls that look better than me or look like me that will you know service you so what so, <laughs> uh, so, okay, so what are you looking for turquoise in other words okay because because to okay first of all your air is approachable now. The, the one thing that we that we try to bug some of the sisters from down here about uh-huh. is some of them can put on an air that's a little unapproachable. Right. <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> you know, I so know you why they do bird. that though. And I and I know it's defective because that. some of the brothers I know. But I you know, know why they do that. But so. you have an air that's approachable. So what are you but what are you looking for? Or are you looking? I'm not really like looking Are at you in a way. relationship? I'm not in a relationship. <laughs> Boy, you just free. all you just all in her Jesus. suit, all in her suit. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to get her some fans. <laughs> oh, I, wait a minute. Her I, she has a fan. Black Chaos, Black Chaos. I know he's because he's a freak he's, too. He's a freak. Dude, I know Black I know. Chaos. He and, said she saw his Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Black it's Chaos. It's real. I'm telling you, it's real. I'm telling yeah. you, Black Chaos. It's, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay, so what are you looking for? Because obviously. Your intelligence. Well, See, you know another thing to equate. You've been every damn where. I said I went to college with sisters been like you, sisters <laughs> like you, and then the brother talking about you know. I recently went to Palm Springs. <laughs> <laughs> And she's like, well, I've been to these continents. So okay, let me just show you the countries. No, but that's the problem with fine ass women who are accomplished and have traveled. So often the men will be intimidated. Uh, do you find like you have to hold back? Or do you just choose not to hold back? No, why am I? That's me. See, there you go. Okay. Because that does intimidate a, a certain amount. Have you seen them get intimidated? Um, You know what? I, I have found that. Well, I'll put it to you like this. Um, my, I was traveling up to San Diego, so that's where my team is, and the, the person I was carpooling with was a white girl. And she said, the reason why a lot of black guys don't really approach me is because I'm not, um, I'm not the typical black girl. And that's why more Ooh. white guys would approach me. So I have been getting a lot more white, white guys and Mexican guys approach me. And then, you know, black guys usually think I'm like, bougie or they call me becky or something like that yeah. it's kind of weird so i just becky yeah becky. i'm just me now the bougie thing i understand because yeah. you know yeah that's been going around they call that they call vic and i bourgeois oh, okay. oh yeah. well, i believe i believe I, it you I guys can't... have an air about you that is unbelievable i thought we were like yeah, super... thing, well, how can you be bourgeois when we broke <laughs> <laughs> i'm sitting there going so how can it be? wait a minute i don't get it mario here it is man i think that we have we're trying hard to represent the super ghetto. We almost in the damn ghetto. <laughs> we like three blocks. See, to me, if the ghetto is three blocks away, you in the damn ghetto. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you ghetto. Same police force. You see all the ghetto folks, you go to the store, hi. It's the same. There was helicopters. The- <laughs> I was, it's like, this is the ghetto. Yeah, but that doesn't make you ghetto if you're in no, the ghetto. Wait.